Hi, I'm Dr. Kyle Moreland. I'm a primary care physician and have been with Community Health Network since 2019. As a family medicine physician, I help patients with a broad range of health conditions, practicing out of my office on the north side of Indianapolis. I was initially drawn to family medicine because of the lasting relationships I'm fortunate enough to create with patients, as well as the empowerment of patients through education and shared decision-making afforded by those relationships. In short, I love primary care. Today, we're gonna to discuss a very important topic, metabolic syndrome. We'll discuss what metabolic syndrome is, the symptoms and causes that lead to the condition, and what you can do to prevent it. So, what is metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is not a single disease, but a cluster of risk factors that increases your chances of developing heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. These conditions include increased blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels. Metabolic syndrome is alarmingly common. In fact, recent estimates suggest about one in three U.S. adults have metabolic syndrome. And because it does not often have symptoms, it can go undiagnosed, meaning that that number could be even higher. It's a silent but significant threat to your health. Having just one of these conditions doesn't mean you have metabolic syndrome, but it does mean you have a greater risk of serious disease. Developing more than one of these conditions increases your risk of complications such as type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Several factors contribute to the development of metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is closely linked to obesity and inactivity. It's also linked to a condition called insulin resistance. In people with insulin resistance, cells don't respond normally to insulin and glucose can't enter the cells as easily. As a result, your blood sugar levels rise even as your body turns out more and more insulin to try and lower your blood sugar. So what are the components of metabolic syndrome? Abdominal obesity or excess fat around the waist, high blood pressure, high blood sugar or elevated fasting blood glucose levels, high triglycerides, that's elevated fat levels in the blood, and low HDL cholesterol or the good type of cholesterol. All right, I just threw a lot at you. So why should you care about all that stuff? Why does it matter? What are the implications of metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome significantly increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. It's also a precursor to type two diabetes as elevated blood sugar leads to insulin resistance over time. It's also associated with fatty liver disease, sleep apnea, osteoarthritis, gout, fertility issues, and hormonal imbalances. There are even links between metabolic syndrome and certain cancers, such as breast, colon, and endometrial cancer. How can having a primary care physician help? Early detection. So having regular checkups with your primary care physician can allow us to identify metabolic syndrome early through screening labs and monitoring of risk factors. We'll look at your overall health, including lifestyle, diet, and exercise, and how these things can impact your risk for metabolic syndrome and the other diseases that that syndrome can potentially lead to. Your doctor will empower you with knowledge about nutrition, exercise, and stress management. We will encourage you to ask questions about your health and routines in an open, honest, and non-judgmental environment. Remember, we are here for you. Building a strong doctor-patient relationship is crucial to helping us all achieve both short and long-term health goals and to maintaining a long and healthy life. Your physician can help you tailor a plan to address your specific risk factors. Your doctor can recommend the proper screening test if they think you might be at risk for or have metabolic syndrome. Regular blood pressure checks are essential. Fasting blood sugar levels help detect early signs of diabetes and a lipid profile can measure cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the blood. The main goals of treating metabolic syndrome are to lower your risk of heart disease and type two diabetes. Treatment often involves medication and or lifestyle changes. However, prevention is key. Healthy eating, focusing on whole unprocessed foods, fiber and portion control. Physical activity, so aiming for at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise weekly. Weight management, shedding excess weight around the waist will reduce your risk. Smoking cessation, medications. Sometimes medications are necessary to manage specific components of this disease process. Remember, 
Metabolic syndrome is preventable and manageable. Regular visits to your primary care physician are your first line of defense. I encourage you to take charge of your metabolic health. Remember that small lifestyle changes can make a big difference. Let's prioritize balanced nutrition, regular exercise, and stress management to fuel your metabolism for a healthier tomorrow. I'm Dr. Kyle Moreland, and thanks for watching. Stay well and take care.